Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Hytale modding guide. Hytale has just released, and with that I'm going to show you how to import blocks, entity models such as players and enemies, and also weapons. I have timestamps down below, so feel free to skip around whenever you need to. And if you haven't made models yet, check out the first video in the series, which is the modeling guide. And once you've watched that, come back here and you can continue on. If you have your own models already, you can continue from here as well. So once you have exported your block bench model, such as the grass block here, we're going to go over to paint. And this is in particular for blocks. You just need their individual sides as individual textures. So what we're going to do is we have this texture here that has all the sides on it. We're going to zoom in on a specific side. So for example, while in paint mode, we can go and select the selection tool here. So we're going to zoom in and then we're going to get the selection tool and copy all the way to 32 by 32. So once you copy that, you're going to be able to paste it into your textures. We're going to call it modded underscore grass underscore block underscore side. It needs to have the capitals, remember, and underscores instead of spaces. Once we confirm that, we save that as its own texture individually. We're going to do the same. We're going to open the main one. We're going to go to the dirt up at the top. We're going to select the layer that it's on because I did separate layers. We're going to select Control C. Click on the textures tab and Control V. We're going to call this modded underscore grass underscore block underscore dirt. We're going to hit confirm. We're going to go back to that texture again. And we have the bottom piece here as well. So this is my layer that this piece is on. I'm going to zoom in, drag, control C, click here in textures, control V. And I'm going to call this modded underscore grass underscore block underscore GS. I'm going to hit confirm. We want to save each of these in our folder. So I'm saving them in the grass block folder again. Save this one, save this one, and save this one. You can save your blocky model as well. Once you have that complete, we can close out of Blockbench. Hey, if you've been enjoying this video so far and would like to see more content like this, do consider dropping a like and subscribing down below as we're going to be going back to a weekly content schedule and it will be filled with both Hytale and Game Dev. Currently partnered with G Portal, so if you want to get 10% off of your first server, use the referral link down below. Anyways, back to the video. So once you've got all the images exported for your model, you're going to go into the Hytale launcher. You're going to open the directory. And then you're going to go to user data, mods. It used to be packs, don't use packs. This was the previous version. But once you open mods, you're going to create a folder. You're going to name your mod whatever you want. So for this one, we're going to call it grass block. And then within this folder, you're going to make a folder called common. And a folder called server. Alongside that, you're going to get the manifest file down below. And you're going to paste it in here. It's a template that will set up what the name of the mod is, who worked on it, the authors, and everything else about the mod itself. So this is my version here, as you can see, a random group name. The name of the mod is Modded Grass Block. We're gonna change this to Grass Block. It's version number, it's description, and then you can include yourself as an author if you want. Once we save that, we're gonna close out of it. And then we're gonna go back into server. We're going to right click, new folder, languages, and in the languages folder, we're going to create a new folder called en-us. Before we go into Hytale, we're just going to set up the actual name for our modded item, which is we're going to click new text document. And we're going to call it server.lang. And we'll save that file. You can open that file up. I use Visual Studio Code. If you have any other software, such as Notepad, you can use that too. Once you open it, what we're going to do is the actual item we're making is a grass block. So we're going to type in items dot modded underscore grass underscore block dot name equals, and then we give the block its name. So for this, we're just going to call it test block. We're going to save that. Now we can open up Hytale. Once you've Hytale opened, just go to Worlds, select Creative, and go to the settings icon, and you'll see your mod pack in the list here. 
As you can see, our mod is grass block, so we're going to check mark that. And then we're just going to apply the settings and create the world. Once you're in the world, first thing to do is slash OP, cell, and then head through the portal in front of you. Once you're in the world, you press tab, go over to creative tools, and then hover over assets. We're going to select the asset editor, which we're going to launch here. This will bring up the editor for everything related to Hytale. To begin with, scrolling through this has every single item in Hytale itself. So we have all items, everything related to characters, models, blocks, animations, sounds. But for the moment, for this video, we're going to focus on the grass block itself. The grass block is called soil underscore grass. And we can see it here if we click. Now, before we do anything, what we're going to do is we're going to exit out of that search and where it has Hytale to Hytale you're going to click down and you're going to see your mod in the drop down you're going to select that and then what you're going to do is scroll down to item and then you're going to see item here and what we're going to do we're going to create an item and we're going to use the previous grass block as a template for our one so we're going to name the grass block modded grass block and we're going to copy the asset from Hytale and then we're going to go to items and we're going to search up soil underscore grass and we're going to look for just the basic one with that we're going to hit create and that will make our modded grass block an item that we can use however nothing is there at the moment and that's intentional. So the first thing we need to do is we need our actual textures on the block itself. So to get the textures, we're going to scroll down from here until we find right down here, block textures. We're going to do a drop down and we're going to see two indexes. Index zero is your first one and index one is your second. We're going to remove index one. And as we can see, the block now appears. With this, we want to change all the details. The side block, we're going to click this drop down. Instead of looking in the Hytale folder, we're going to look in our mod folder for block textures forward slash. The issue is we don't have block textures in this yet. To get our block textures, we're going to head back to our folder where our mod is stored. Once we're back in the folder where our mod is stored, we're going to go common and we're going to right click new folder and call it block textures. Once we have that folder made, we're going to grab the three pieces of our grass block. Or if you have your any custom blocks already, you're going to drag and drop them in themselves and paste them here. Once you have those three in the folder, you can minimize and you can go back into the Hytale Asset Editor. For the sides, we're going to go our studio, our mod, and then we're going to go block textures, and then we're going to go modded grass block underscore side. Now the preview will disappear, don't worry about that. For the upside, we're going to go again, block textures, and we're gonna go for GS, which is the upside. And then for the down texture, same thing again, we're gonna go studio, we're gonna go dirt. Now there is one more thing you might wanna change because of the way it is handled in Hytale. So by default, the blocks have a tint to them. So what we can do is if we scroll down here, you'll see underneath block, you have tint and that there is a tint up. We're going to get rid of that. So if we remove that tint, it means that the tint of the block won't happen. And then we also get rid of the biome tint by setting it to zero. Now we'll go back to show all properties and to get our icon back into the game, we're going to hit this little pen, which will show a preview of our asset that we can alter and edit. So once we have the icon saved, once the tints are removed, we're going to go and see that there's an issue with our icon. We're going to go to rendering and we're going to scroll down to block texture side mask and we're going to delete that. Now our block looks like how it's supposed to. Once that's ready, we can click equip item. And in the game itself, we now have our grass block. However, there is still two more issues. So if we place it, it appears and we can also mine it like normal. It will have a white tint to the particle due to the fact that we removed tints, but you can change it around if you want to. We're going to reopen the editor to fix the issues, such as the name of the block not being what we want it to be. Once we're back into the editor, 
to change the name of our block itself, we're going to hit source in the top right. And as we can see, translation properties, name server items soil grass dot name. We're going to change that to modded grass block dot name. And we're going to apply that change. And now we have our block as test block, which is what we named it previously at the start. There is still one more issue, and that is the icon. However, to fix that, all you have to do is quit to the main menu, close out of the Hytale Asset Editor, go back to the world, and reopen it. And there we have it. Our preview icon is now visible. However, we saved the icon before we changed the tint. Go back into the Asset Editor by selecting the Pen Tool, and then we can save this again. So we save that icon, cancel, go back, it's not saved until we rejoin the game for icons. And there we have it, our first custom block in Hytale. Now, of course, with the block, there are several other things you can mess around with, different functionality. You can make plenty of things. You can even add particles to the block if you want to as well. But for the moment, I'm just showing you how to import the model itself. In a later video, I'll go into detail on the other things you can do to change the model. But now you understand how to import a block into the game. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to import a player model. And in the video after that, I'll show you how to import weapons and customize their abilities and everything else related to them. If you're not already in the Discord down below, do consider joining as, especially for Hytale, we'll have our Discord server. As especially for Hytale, we'll have our community server up and running with both a creative and survival world. And any modded creations by use will be added to the game. Planning on purchasing Hytale, do consider using code OSIP as it helps support the channel and it helps me keep going on these videos for use. But that is everything for this. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one.